I think a lot of people are uh, feel a need to almost represent <laughs> the voices of all these other overseas Singaporeans that are not able to vote because there are really only 10 locations, you know, worldwide. My name is Anthony Chen. I live in London, the UK. So the process of voting in the UK was uh, quite smooth, I would say. A couple of days before I got sort of like the polling card through the mail, the polling station was actually the High Commission in the UK, which is based in London. On the day itself, I, I cycled over there. I cycled for about 40 minutes. You queue up outside, you know, with social distancing. They take your temperature, scan a QR code and give, in, uh, give your details. You are giving hand sanitizer to sanitize your hands and then they give you gloves you know before they give you um, the voting card this year I think in Singapore as well you sort of use a, a stem and then after that you sort of chuck, chuck the gloves and then that's it I think the whole process took less than 10 15 minutes I would say my cousin and his wife they live in uh, Massachusetts in the US for them it was quite a journey to go and vote they had to drive three hours to New York to vote and then after voting you know drive another three hours back and I really respect that in fact as I was queuing up to vote I saw quite a number of Singaporeans that were dragging sort of like big bags and suitcases and I, I was actually quite moved because there were people you know flying in uh, from different parts of Europe probably you know ha having voted and then stayed the night or maybe they might fly out you know right after the fact that uh, there were so many overseas Singaporeans that put in that effort to come and you know vote during this election. There are a lot of reasons this year that has, you know, made it very, very difficult, I think, for overseas Singaporeans to vote. So I think all the more those of us that are able to, you know, that feel that we are near enough, I think a lot of people are feel a need to almost represent <laughs> the voices of all these other overseas Singaporeans that are not able to vote because there are really only 10 locations, you know, worldwide where you can do it, which is not a lot, you know, considering that Singaporeans are very well traveled and Singaporeans are based all across the world. For some of us, it's, it's quite a journey to go and cast that vote. And of course, you know, we also know that a lot of the overseas votes are not really counted and they're days later and they really only count if um, if you know it comes down to like a really really tight margin but I, I think it's very important that we speak out through our vote it is our democratic right you know if we believe in in uh, democracy if we believe in parliament and who is going to represent us in parliament I think it, the way to actually do that is through your vote every vote counts and every vote re really uh, signals what you like the the future of your country to be. I think a lot of this voting is really out of out of love, you know, out of love of your country, and um, it's because we care. <laughs>